Speaking of which... Yes, spring fever has hit the Rocky Mountains. It's Meet the Beaver. It is a crisp May morning, and while out gnawing innocent trees for lunch, Mr. Beaver feels the unmistakable urge to take to the water. That's your cue, Baba. <laughs> Down he swims, and into the humble lodge he and Ma built by the sweat of their teeth. And it's a great big hello to Beatrice, but not so fast. First, she gives her visitor a good sniffing down to make sure this beaver's the right beaver. And what's this? Spring has knocked on the beaver's door with a resounding thud. Born to Mr. and Mrs. Beaver are four bouncing baby beavers known as Kits. Kit Schmidt, says Dad. Quit hogging up my side of the lodge. We'll be back with more from the beavers, but now back to your regularly scheduled spring season still in progress. Back out west to the Rockies we go for another episode of your favorite aquatic rodents, Meet the Beavers. <laughs> Summer has come to the whole beaver bunch, and today brings the kits to the great beyond. Their first foray outside. Good thing because the lodge was beginning to smell. <laughs> Suddenly, a summer thunderstorm. Oh no, now the beaver's dam is broken. The whole pond they live in might just wash away. They better get their tails in gear. And Mom's tail is tailor-made for high-tailing it. This is no time for a joyride, Mom exclaims. Get off my tail! We've got a dam to fix! <laughs> this is no ordinary pond. The beavers actually created it themselves with this dam that they built. That way they could keep their lodge well protected. But without the dam, it's goodbye, pond! So now, Mom rallies to the repair. And Dad, he stays home with the kits and eats. Is the dam done for? Will Dad stop eating? And what about the ducks? But let's see now, who else are we forgetting here? Um... Wow! And now, let's roll on back to the Rockies for the rousing conclusion of... Meet the Beavers! <laughs> Time sure is running short for our heroes. Autumn is almost over, so branch by branch, busy as beavers, they gather bark. This is what they'll eat in the winter to come, and it'll stay nice and fresh as the water freezes over, just like food in your refrigerator. <laughs> so all season long, the beavers can help themselves to uh, barksicles. Because, that's right, it's winter! But even though it's way below freezing outside, you wouldn't know it. All toasty in the beaver lodge! <laughs> yes, why, it's a whopping 33 degrees in here. Yep, come winter, the beaver's just about the coziest animal in all North America, don't you think? <laughs> 